guys and welcome back to another episode of Ticking Machines. Thanks for visiting my channel and if you like my content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button in case you haven't done that already. Like the video and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of new videos. Also please remember that there will be affiliated links in the description in case you're interested in purchasing this watch. If you use those links, I'll have no difference in price for you. But I get a small commission that helps grow the channel, so I really, really appreciate it. So today we're reviewing the only be real beater watch that I currently own. And it's also an unintentional homage to the James Bond, Roger Moore Seiko that he used in the movie Octopussy. It is the Casio 1200WH. It's made of pure plastic, unlike the Seiko's metallic body and band, but it is very light, has tons of features, and costs less than a couple cups of good coffee. So, well, let's check the specs and how it looks. So for the price, well, you can't beat Amazon for this model. If you want, you can spend a little bit more. You can get it uh, even closer to the Bond watch, made it full of metal, including the band. Uh, but I just wanted a beater that I can take it jogging or washing the car and not care about what happens to it. But it's definitely worth the extra $8. So I'll post both affiliate uh, Amazon links in the description if you're interested. So for the movement and features is using a Casio quartz movement with a selectable LED illumination. I don't know if you can see it with this light. They say that the duration of the light is uh, selectable, but I, I'll have to dig into the into the options and see how can I adjust that. It has four CDs, multi-time with 31 time zones, stopwatch, countdown timer, and daily or one-time alarms. It has an hourly time signal, which I hate, so it's not active. It's a full calendar up to year 2099 and a 12 and 24-hour format. The accuracy is as expected to a quartz watch, plus minus 30 seconds per month. It is just a single CR2025 CR button battery, which should last for at least 10 years. So the case is a resin case with, uh, and the glass, they say, is also made of resin. It has 100 meters of water resistance. The case is screwed down with four screws. It has uh, 39.5 millimeters in diameter, 44.5 including the buttons, 12.5 millimeters of thickness, and 45 millimeters plug to lock. And it has an integrated end link. So the band is made also of resin, both the band and the buckle. It has 24 millimeters at the widest, tapering down to 18 and growing back to 21.5 at the buckle. Although the band distance between the locks actually is 18 millimeters. I bought some 18 millimeters NATO, especially to fit to this watch, some cheap ones, as I don't have any other 18 millimeter watches. But I heard it's really hard to pass this trap under these spring bars. So I'll give it a try and show you how it looks. And depending on how it looks, uh, I might go back to the standard resin band. It doesn't look halfway bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it looks kind of skinny, <laughs> if, uh, if I can say that, but it's comfortable. I think I'm gonna leave it for a while and see how it looks, how it feels, how it wears. It's kind of a difference. And the red of the, of the NATO combines with the red lettering here. I think it looks cool. So, uh, well, final uh, considerations. Nothing much to say about this watch other than it's reliable, light, easy to wear and dead cheap. You can't go wrong with it. Even if you don't, you, you never go out you know, with a plastic watch. It doesn't mean that you can't own one, especially at this price point. Well, it has the added advantage that if I ever 
have to visit a shady place, I'll take it with me as it won't attract the wrong type of people or lift any suspicions that I'm a watch enthusiast. So there you go, the 1200WH. I hope, you, I hope you're enjoying my new background. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.